Good morning, modern steaders. <sighs> we have no internet this morning, so if this video doesn't go up on Saturday, August 11th on time, like it should, it's because we never got internet back. So I'm hoping this morning and praying that the internet comes back on. It's not just us, I guess it's a big regional outage. That's not a good thing. What are you girls doing? Huh? You girls wrestling? Huh? We need to get the goat barn cleaned out and get a good compost pile going from it. Crazy to think that all this dirtiness can turn into some awesome fertilizer to grow next year's garden. Something spook you outside? I'm cleaning up your house for you. Anything good in there, Buttercup? No? You're crazy. You gotta help me push it down so I can fit more in there. There you go, stomp it down good for me. Oh, you got pee right in it. Perfect, thank you. I can teach you how to use a potty. Watch out, you standing on the rake. This time. 
We're gonna put down pine shavings for you girls. There, now you got fresh bedding, okay? One of the reasons I love farming this way, I don't know if you want to call it farming naturally, or for me it's farming the way that everything was designed to work together, is we have our goat's bedding. It's going to turn into compost. Once it turns into compost, it's going to turn into food. I just think that's awesome. We can take one product, kind of like a waste product that animals poo and pee, and then you got to go buy bedding. And instead of throwing it away like a lot of people do or thinking of it as a waste, we get to compost it, turn it into great compost, rich compost to feed our gardens or whatever wants to grow in them. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we got a lot of bee activity, which is awesome, going on in the squash plant. There's a bee in there and somebody's honeybee. They're not ours but they are honeybees in there. That's awesome to see. This flower has two bees in it. Those also look like honeybees to me. I'm not quite sure what kind of squash we're gonna get. Wow, two more bees in that flower we're gonna get from this plant, but that's what they look like. Man, that one's been pecked at or something. I don't know what kind of squash it's gonna be. And no one right there, I don't know. Alright, so Olivia wanted to share one of our favorite spots with you guys. You ready? How you want me to go first? Did you do that? Want a hand? Sure. <laughs> it's slippery. Don't get wet. We just got back and there's one, two, there's a third hawk way up there flying around. 
and there's no chickens out, so they must know they're around. Now all the chickens are hiding either right beside or inside the coop. We got a lot of apples we need to pick up before we can mow our lawn. Let's see if we can. You gonna get it? Oh, it was so time. close. Here's another one. Oh, in I and out of your hand. I just told you not to throw it to me because I don't catch things. Oh, so close. I did it. I did it before that. Turn the camera on and that's it. You can't do it. I think there's more leaves over here than anything. But the pigs will eat them too. I did not throw that. When they fall off the apple tree right after you get done picking them up. Oh man. It's never ending, huh, Olivia? Ah, oh, so close. Let's see if I can get mine in. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yep. yep. I should come back from back here. Yep. You. Yep. Four chances. Okay, well five. Do one at a time. Miss. So close. Ah. Yes. Oh. Try going underhand if you have to. Miss. Yep. Miss. Miss. Now you gotta pick them up. We had a modern setter in Thursday's video asking how the apple trees are doing that were in the pig run last year. This one was not, but these trees over here were all inside where the pigs were. And they're doing okay. This one's producing some good apples. That one is, this one's looking a little weak, but all beforehand, they didn't produce anything. So it'll be interesting to see how they do next year. They're like, we're so full, but it smells so good. Oh, does it smell good? You smell that? You do, don't you? Here you go, check it out. You know you want to. Well, Moose and the girls have New York City are doing good. Come on, Moose, give us a crow. You know you want to. Come on, Moose. Come on, Moose. There we go.
He thinks he's a ladies' man. This is where we're gonna end today's video. Thanks for coming along with us on this beautiful, gorgeous day today, huh? Yeah. Nice out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully the internet's working so we can upload this video on time for you guys. If it was late, we're sorry. It was out of our control, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.